In review of both mesh and conexiones within the context of Latin America, we've had feedback from the UNESCO groups and it's very positive. The reaction is very positive. And we did this in sort of a SWOT analysis. What we saw is the great strengths is that UNESCO in Latin America fully backs and is enthusiastic about these types of resources for teachers and see them very complementary to initiatives being run by the government and also by other NGOs and as well as other high quality teacher training institutions. Also very positive, it is extremely flexible, it's available right now uh, in anybody's native language, it's a very high quality as far as content is concerned, and there really is no cost except for the time of the individual teacher. So all of those are great strengths. On the balance side of that, a weakness might be that is that many teachers are unaware of the potential of using online services to enhance their own professional development. It's not something that's intuitive or very familiar to many teachers, so until teachers are introduced to it in a more authentic way within their own school context and are able to access it, it's something that sounds a bit distant and maybe even science fiction. So we have to um, help slowly integrate this into everybody's school to see how they can actually use the tools. Um, the other problem we see within Latin America is that uh, not everybody has internet access all the time. Most of the public schools now are equipped and do have access, so teachers could do this within their school time, if possible, if permitted, but not everybody has it in their home, so it's not something that we could say is easily accessible to absolutely everyone. Having said that, more and more places provide free internet access. For example, shopping malls in Latin America have a lot of free internet access, so uh, many teachers could indeed find a place where they could use the tools from Mesh and the tools from Conexiones. And to round this out, there are some threats, and, but there's some other opportunities that exist. An example of one of these threats is that there are many, many, many online services nowadays in Latin America for Spanish-speaking populations that offer little tidbits of information and lots of tips that they send to people. And most of these are privately profit, for-profit organizations that in many cases are not based a lot on evidence, but what seems to be in the popular press. And this can be really dangerous to the existence of both Mesh and Conexiones because people associate these types of resources as being a little bit flaky because they don't have the evidence behind them, whereas both Mesh and Conexiones are very grounded in evidence-based educational research. So one of the things we have to do is sort of help people separate out you know, the good information from the bad information in the best way possible and not fall into this category of, of typical online blogs that somebody might run that just have a lot of opinion in them but don't have a lot of research behind them. But the great opportunity that we see is that right now Latin America is hungry for more information, for better guides, for evidence in their learning. We hear this from Chile, Paraguay, all the way up to you know Costa Rica, Mexico, everybody in between. Everybody is very interested and open to this idea, especially when they view it as an opportunity to sort of leapfrog problems in education. Whereas we have always lagged a bit behind in many things, Everybody is in uh, at the beginning stage when it comes down to using technology to leverage technology to improve teaching. So if we adopt, if we are early adapters to this, we can also help shape many of the different things that are being used by teachers and, and facilitate the best ways that teachers can have access to this great information. So there's a great opportunity here that especially in Latin America, I would have to say, there's a very big openness to doing something a little bit radical, a little bit new, that might uh, yield best results. So anyways, that's my take and my summary of the information from Latin America. We encourage you to look at uh, thelearningsciences.com to look at the, the conceptual hierarchy of teachers' pedagogical knowledge um, and to self-assess. Where do I fall on the scale? What do I really need to become a better teacher? And to explore the MESH pages at meshguides.org and to learn a little bit more about how they're structured and to think about how is it that you could contribute to making this a reality for more people in your region of the world. Thank you.